today on the Traveling Cheesehead, we stop back at Wall Drug before hitting the road on our way home. We hit some weather along the way, show you around our hotels before we finally make our way home. Where are we going next? Let's go. back at Wall Drug. It's a little loud in here, so I'm going to try to talk as close to the microphone as possible. Um, but we just left out of Keystone this morning, about 7.30, 7.45 in the morning, so we got a good start. And then Wall Drug is about a little, little over an hour away from there. We stopped in Rapid City for some gas, chuck the car, everything like that, and then hit the road. Um, Wall Drug, is, as you know from earlier days in our, in our visit, it's just an experience, they have great donuts, great quick stop for breakfast, and then we'll be headed on the road for our whatever nine hour drive. We've broken up our trip this time on the way home. We are making it into a three day trip instead of a two day trip. Just cause now that we've done everything, we're a little tired. So we don't wanna push it into 12, 13 hour drives. Um, when we have the option to pull off and stay and get fully rested. So we will be staying in La Crosse, Wisconsin tonight, and then tomorrow morning we'll head out, and I believe we're going to end up in the Dayton, Ohio area, is where I believe we're going to end up stopping off, and then the following day we'll head all the way home. So we, I'll get into everything that happened yesterday with our hotel, it was an experience, um, and describe all that to you soon. Um, but we are ready to go. Sad to be leaving the area. We've had a great trip so far. Um, I'll keep documenting our, our, road, our road trip as we go and uh, update you on the hotel we're staying at along the way. Uh, so I'll check in with you later, but goodbye. Comfort Inn and Suites here in La Crosse, Wisconsin. We made it. We were pleasantly surprised um, by this hotel. We booked it on Priceline and it was one of their like flash deals where you don't know which hotel you're gonna get. Um, so that's always a little risky because you're hoping you get a good one and we're pleasantly surprised. This hotel looks like it was just brand new, like brand new remodeled. Everything's fresh and, and new. Um, we honestly just uh, woke up this morning and I didn't take a video last night after you know, 10, 11 hours of driving. We were a little tired, uh, so I decided not to do that, but I will show you around just, uh, you'll have to avoid, <laughs> you have to ignore all my crap. Um, but it's a huge room. This happens to be an accessible room, um, king, a single king accessible room on the first floor, right around the corner from the lobby. Um, but it's really comfortable. It's The bed was amazing, very clean, modern, um, and very quiet. Um, so it, it's, and it's a really great location. It's right off of I-90. Uh, so it's very accessible when you're doing a road trip across the country. Uh, so I'll show you real quick around the room. Um, and then just like breakfast and stuff in Wisconsin, COVID wise, it's just grab and go like everywhere else. Except this one, you go grab individually your own stuff. Um, instead of having it in a, ba a grab bag like a lot of the other hotels have been doing. Um, but I'll show you around real fast. It's got the really high ceilings, which I thought were really cool. Um, but yeah, you can see everything is really modernized. There's a nice bench there for your stuff. Um, so this is a really great, comfortable hotel and the best part it was cheap, it was like 50 bucks. Um, so we booked it last minute, that may have helped. Plus we did that express deal with Priceline, so that probably also helped. Um, but yeah, there you go, that's the whole room. So today we are headed out um, for our next leg of the trip. We broke up our home return trip into three legs instead of doing two really long ones. Um, we're a little tired on this end of the trip, so we've broken it up. Our goal today is to hit Dayton, Ohio. We'll spend the night in Dayton 
and then we're heading on home after that. So this road trip is almost done. Um, I gotta call and extend the car again one more day because uh, we broke up the way home. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's been a great trip so far and uh, hopefully if that continues and we have, uh, we're gonna pick up some Wisconsin delights since I am a cheese head and I'm driving through my home state. Yeah, I pick up some cheese curds and maybe stop and get a little uh, custard along the way, uh, frozen custard along the way to enjoy um, since we're here. But we're on our way home. We're almost there. Two more days and we're home. Ohio. Now, we did have a little fun today because we were traveling through my home state of Wisconsin. So we stopped and got some cheese. We stopped and got some Culver's custard along the way, um, you know, and did that kind of stuff. We actually drove through Wisconsin Dells since we hadn't been there in years. Um, and I needed to get some coffee in the morning anyway. So we swung through town just to kind of see what it looked like. It was very quiet which is odd at this time of year. Uh, if you know anything about Wisconsin Dells, it tends to be very busy, but obviously we're in 2020, welcome to COVID year, and the, the crowds are way down, it's very quiet. Um, the water parks were running, but they were very low capacity, there weren't very many people there. Uh, any case, we were okay most of the day, like all the way through Wisconsin, we were okay, and then we hit Rockford, and there was a severe thunderstorm warning and we started watching the clouds come in and oh my god um i grew up in this area or you know in wisconsin and i know kind of what tornadoes look like when they start to form and we were coming around the corner thought maybe we were going to beat this storm um because of the way that the highway was going and where the storm was and then we turned and i could just see this super dark cloud and it had the really low clouds and it was start it was it got crazy um it got super windy um and stuff started just flying we took the very next exit and went and hid out um underneath a canopy of uh the comfort inn off the side of the road um and we sat there for probably a good hour for this storm to pass um there did end up being a tornado warning and a tornado did touch down nearby um, and i believe it with how how high the wind gusts were several semi trucks got tipped over on the highway and once it cleared and we started out again we saw several of those trucks laying on their side or being stood up by tow trucks and things like that um so it was a pretty vicious storm and then we that storm ended up we ended up following that storm all the way to dayton so couple the pouring rain with now we're delayed and so we got into some night driving plus we hit a ton of construction through illinois and indiana today i mean it was ridiculous for miles and miles and miles we went so slow um so our you know eight to well, nine to ten hour trip ended up being closer to 13 or 14 hours um and mind you we did stop in wisconsin for some stuff but oh, that was a lot of driving and in my my worst conditions night driving which i hate um pouring rain in the night right driving which i hate and then construction night driving in the rain which i hate so it was it was rough but we got here finally we thought we would be here around originally around like 7 30 8 o'clock it is we've got it pulled in probably about 11 30 and just unloaded the car and got everything up here so it is now almost midnight and we're you know getting things kind of cleaned up and organized and put away we're gonna we have some cold pizza from last night we were gonna microwave it but i think we're just too tired so we're just gonna eat the cold pizza we have sandwiches and we're gonna just nibble on whatever food we have because we're done um we're gonna try to sleep in a little bit tomorrow before hitting the road home um in any case we are at the true by hilton um in dayton ohio it's um just off the highway off of highway 70 in dayton and it's I've never stayed at this hotel. I know it's a new branch of the Hilton Hotels and 
it looked brand new online and let me tell you when we pulled in it's probably like the only there's a restaurant nearby and then this hotel and then there's like nothing else around so this is kind of a newly developed area and this hotel can't be more than maybe a year old um, so I'm gonna show you our room it's super cute very kind of retro modern it reminds me of Ikea stuff um, because it's very like um, minimalistic um, clean lines that kind of stuff so I'm gonna show you our room and everything's brand don't mind my stuff but like it right over here is the bathroom which I'll show you later um, nice this is cool I've never seen this in a hotel with the hooks on the wall for like your coats and whatever um, there aren't microwaves in the rooms there are there is one in the lobby but I think you know it'd be cool if they had a microwave here be nice little touch but otherwise the refrigerator cool. and then we ended up with a double two double beds which is fine but they also have king rooms queen rooms um, this is convenient and very thoughtful that they have this whole area planned out for all your stuff and suitcases a lot of rooms don't do that but this room is super spacious and look at how high these ceilings are it's crazy and then um, we got this, you know, little night table in the middle, which is kind of cool because it's got a couple shelves and a little work area. Um, so again, very kind of minimalistic, but um, really, really cool overall. And that's a shot back across the room, um, but looks very clean and comfortable. They were very friendly at check-in. Um, so, so we're looking forward to getting a really good night's sleep here. Um, and I'll let you know about the rest of our stay soon and I'll show you the bathroom in a minute because it's also really cool. Here is the bathroom. Like I said, everything is like perfectly brand new. Really nice shower and everything too. So it's pretty cool. Might have to stay at this uh this chain of hotels again. Well good morning. Final day. We hit the road today. We slept in. We got in so late and it was a rough drive yesterday with all the thunderstorms and craziness and construction and ugh. So we didn't even get in to the hotel until like 11.30. Didn't get to bed till probably about 1.30 by the time we ate something, freshened up, all that. So we slept in a little bit today. It's now about 10, 15, 10, 20 and checkout is 11. Um, so we're just gonna, we're all packed up for the most part. We're just doing our final packing and then load up the car and hit the road. Um, we have about nine and a half hours today, which, you know, with stops and everything will probably turn out to be closer to 11 hours. Um, so that's gonna get us home kind of late, but we'll be home. So uh, we're not worried about checking into a hotel or having to get up early tomorrow to go somewhere. Um, the only thing we have to do tomorrow is return the car and that's not till like 2.30, so we'll be good. Um, so final stretch of the road trip today, we're hoping for good weather, we're hoping for no traffic, we're hoping for the kind of road trip we started out with where it was very smooth traveling, no weather, no traffic, no craziness like that. Um, it's just been the end of the road trip here that's been a little bit more wild. So um, the stay here has been amazing. They actually have served a hot breakfast here. This is the first hotel that we've stayed at on this trip where they actually served a, a hot breakfast. So it can be done. Um, I realize that busier hotels maybe are just, you know, short staffed and can't handle that. But the lady just served the food. She asked what you wanted and then she served it for you and put it in a little box and then you took it up to your room. So um, I appreciate it. It was an omelet and sausage and, you know, way better than the granola bar and bottled water and like prepackaged muffin that we've been getting. Um, so it's nice that we actually had a hot, fresh breakfast this morning. So we're gonna get on the road. I will catch up with you uh, maybe once we get home, but I'll try to take, um, you know, catch up with you at a rest stop or something to let you know how the journey's going. Um, but it's been an awesome road trip. So glad we did it. I'll catch up with you soon. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Continue following me on the Traveling Cheesehead for future videos on this road trip. Where I provide detailed itineraries for Yellowstone, hotel reviews, and more. Until next time, travel safe. Where are we going next? Let's go.
Bye.